you guys any sickness here kind of trying to blow through some of the stuff that I picked up over the last week um, Saturday went out garage sale and didn't, it was the day I didn't find anything I woke up 8.30 I set my alarm at 7.30 so I learned my lesson because the place I went to they had like a box of games apparently and they said I was a half an hour late so I um, ended up spending three dollars on Saturday I bought three things first off got a pair of these guys on the 64 storage containers so um, they need to be cleaned obviously the label on this one I'm gonna try to glue it back on it's there and I mean I pretty much only have loose cart 64 games so it's kind of cool um, yeah so dollar each just need to be cleaned yeah I think if you try to buy these on eBay they're like 20 bucks or something 25 bucks a little actually a little pamphlet in there um, and then I got a console saw this thing sitting on the ground and I'd never seen one of these before I was asking questions like how do you know if it works or whatnot and he said take it for a dollar so it's kind of hard not to take it but it's the super pong it's pretty dirty this one's a little jacked up like it got melted or something right there on the edge this is one of the things that I like about this hobby is that you find these these old things and you clean them up and like this would give it to me for a do dollar he didn't want it obviously he probably would have thrown it away if it, someone didn't pick it up same thing with these guys you know they're kind of falling apart if I can a little super glue will fix it so it cleans up pretty nicely it's a blue or brown black the labels look really nice and everything so Probably could clean it up a little bit more, but it was just pretty much dusty. Test this guy out. 98 cent store, if you need batteries. All right, I'll try it. Oh, I heard something. Cool. I'm gonna try to... Something's happening here. So the speaker obviously works. I'm gonna go try to plug this into the TV. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to plug this into. I'm gonna try it here. Does it work? Let's see. I'm not sure if it's just one of these type of... I think it's just that, only in the video, yeah. Most likely. There's something. It makes noises. Huh. probably have to look this up. Well, it works. Um, that was the wrong place to plug it in. It's kind of, I think I need like an RF, some sort of adapter, like on old Nintendos. So if you have any advice like where to find one of those, if I could just use any Atari one, that'd be cool. There's always something missing. <laughs> but now I know, if I ever saw one of these, I gotta should be something that plugs into end of the end of this. It will plug into the back of your TV. And oh yeah, there's one other accoutrement, which is I guess some of them would come with an AC adapter. I didn't see any of that out there. This is the only thing just sitting out there by itself. So, and I had no clue that it needed that kind of stuff. But I think it'll work. I mean, it makes noise. I think that's it basically playing with itself right now so thanks for watching guys super palm